we have facing here, we're gonna just kind of put that facing up towards the top, right? And kind of let it, let it go and just pretend like it's not there for right now. We're gonna end up folding it over afterwards and hiding all of the zipper guts in there. So the same thing, we're going to just place our zipper over. Now, that stopper should be at that very edge. So the zipper tape is actually going to end up being where the seam allowance goes. And you really do want it to get it at the top because otherwise you're gonna have like a little gap and you don't really want that. So um, that's kind of the tricky thing with this is actually placing it correctly at the very top. And it doesn't matter whether you decide to start at the top or the bottom. Some, some of the, the book might have a preference for that. They can tell you that. I sort of do it organically however I, <laughs> however I feel most comfortable at, that, at whatever moment I'm doing it. Um, if you do go from the bottom, though, make sure, again, that this is sort of pinned correctly at the top on both sides. And so again, you know, don't skip this first step of basting it down and, you know, uh, be careful about, um, oops, I lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was going to tell you to be careful of. So again, you're going to baste this, machine baste it, um, to the zipper tape and only the seam allowance. So don't go through the whole garment. So you're putting the whole garment over there. Uh, again, baste kind of in the middle of the tape. You can go from the tail. You can also, if you have a really long zipper, you can cut that zipper off once you've actually gone over um, this part. Once you've done that, you can trim away if you have a lot of extra. So I ended up sewing this all the way to the bottom because it was just a little. But if you have like eight inches, you can trim that off as long as something goes over that um, and solidifies it. Otherwise, you're, like I said, your stopper is going to fall off. I suppose if you feel um, less comfortable using a basting stitch, you can use like a, a regular stitch for this part because you um, you might want to go a little slower, especially with zippers. Like it's a little bit tricky. Oh, this basic shot, never mind. This one, this stitch, you don't want to you don't want to bother getting too close because um, because you it's easier you know you, you can't really open up the zipper yet you don't want to like have to move around it too much so if you go in the middle of the tape and you're basting it's just it's sort of to just solidify it and hold it in place. And so we're going to open this up. Turn it right side out. And we're going to hand baste everything together. Again, marking. Where that quarter of an inch should be. And um, when I when I grade your skirts, I'm looking for you know the correct top stitching the, that all these um, techniques are, are executed correctly, and that everything is the right measurement that I've asked you to do. So it is important to make sure that you follow some of these numbers. Um, of course, you know if you're going to be designing something, you could you could make this decorative stitching something other than a quarter of an inch. But I'm teaching you the traditional. Oh man. the traditional dressmaking way of doing this stuff. You can depart after this class and, and do whatever you want on your own skirt, but for this skirt and these zippers, quarter of an inch. And I like to use um, contrasting thread when I do the basting so that I can um, see um, see what, you know, see the difference and know which one to pull out. Thick thread is tough though, it doesn't go through the needles easily. And again, 
again, you're going to go all the way down to where your basting stops, your machine basting for your, or your, where your notches are really. You can double check that on the inside. I can just see the stitch change right there. I don't know, you know, if you guys can see that, but the big stitch goes to the small stitch. And then up the other side. Make sure when you do your top stitching that you don't go through the facing. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the facing in one second. As soon as I can push this up here. So again, now I can uh, open up my seam here. Again, be careful not to cut through or accidentally rip your um, your actual seam, or your actual fabric, rather. And now I can, uh, like I said, you can double check and make sure everything is lying nice and flat. You can open that up, and then I'm going to stitch this down. So starting right at the top there, make sure my stitch length is correct. And just using that basting stitch as a guideline for my uh, quarter of an inch. When I get to my stopper, or I'm sorry, my uh, zipper pull, I'm gonna pull it up, remember, foot down, or I'm sorry, needle down, foot up, and again, walk it over this. You can sew it, but it's easier if you kind of walk it. And then back up the other side. And again, you're catching all of the uh, material, the zipper tape, the garment, and the seam allowance. And you can press this when you're all finished. Um, you know, be careful of the zippers. Sometimes if those irons get really hit hot, the plastic zippers can melt a little, so don't leave the iron on there, but you can quickly press it to make sure it's nice and um, uh, uh, crisp. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. So in order to finish this off, I'm just going to fold over my facing like that, and I can either hand stitch this down, or uh, you can also top stitch to change my zipper foot so I'm gonna do it I wouldn't suggest maybe doing it from the bottom up but you you, you know I'm gonna show you how to do it this way just without just changing my zipper foot but um, oh wait no I could do it on the side okay so I'm gonna top stitch but I'm gonna make sure that I am actually going over the same stitching so I'm not creating a double you know two lines this can be a little difficult and sometimes a little fussy but you want to make sure that that facing is sort of hidden uh, inside and that will also keep the facing from sort of flipping out of course and uh, like I said if you want to um, you can hand stitch this but don't top stitch this down close because then you're gonna ruin the way that the center zipper looks but you can slip stitch this to the actual zipper tape to really seal that off and make sure it's nice and clean so again if I do this side fold over that seam allowance And you're going to want to do it from um, the garment side again so you can really make sure that you're not creating a second line. You don't want this to look messy. You've done all this nice work so far. Uh, there you go. And again, if it were me, I would, um, I would do a slip stitch just to really make that nice and clean. But that's basically how you finish your skirt. Now, the only thing that you are left to do uh, once you're at this point on your skirt, if you followed everything along so far, is to actually hem it. For this, um, for this skirt, I want you guys to do a hand hem. Um, for the other things we do, we're going to be doing machine hems is the only one, but I want you to use your slip stitch. 
So go back to your hand samples. Um, you're going to press over a half an inch, I'm sorry, a quarter of an inch, uh, and then you're going to press it over again at an inch, and then you're going to uh, slip stitch that way. So make sure you, you iron this and press it, and so it should be, a, like I said, a quarter of an inch and then another uh, inch folded over so you have that nice fold to slip through the tunnel, remember that? Uh, and so I shouldn't really see much of it. If you want to use a contrasting thread to see how much you can hide, that's fine. I'm not going to take points off for that. But I, if you do the wrong stitch, I will take points off for you. Everybody understand? So the skirt is due next class, uh, and as well as the midterm take-home thing. And if you have any questions about the numbers on that, remember if you got it below a 75 required, if it's above a 75, then you, you can just do it.